Hey, good day, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Give you a Caribbean tropical update on what's going on with everything. Our storm down here is actually meeting some wind shear, making its way uh, towards the islands, but it does ma make its way. I'll show that it goes towards Venezuela. I'll show you that in a second. We also have Hurricane Epsilon up here, which is getting surrounded by dry air, choking it off. So there shouldn't be too much more strengthening going on. We will see, but it is getting separated from these other storms that is on, our, on the east side of Epsilon. I'll show you that as well. Uh, also, we got some storms by Florida and the Bahamas, and also we have some over here by Jamaica and also Central America. But let me show you what we have so far. Now, so far we have Florida. This is your, your live feed of the thunderstorms going on. You have a lot of storms popping up also over the Bahamas as well. But, be, but don't worry because these storms will be leaving soon. So when, once these storms go away, you are going to be weather-free for a while. So that's going to be good news for you. Believe that. Now, Jamaica, on the other hand, you have a lot of storms popping up all around you all day long. And it's got more storms and more moisture coming into uh, your area. So you're going to be having rain for a while. But it don't show that it's all going to be on land. It's all going to be all around you. So that's kind of good news. you got storms, but they're not on land. So that's a good thing. Now, when we look towards Costa Rica, you can see over here in Costa Rica, a little bit of Nicaragua, you got some storms bursting up for y'all as well. Uh, and I want y'all to be aware because when we get towards the end, end of the month, we do have the hurricane coming in towards Venezuela and it is curving south. So we will take an, another look at that. Now, here's a storm right here that we've been tracking. And as you can see, the wind shear from the west it is hitting it. It is weakening the, the west side of the storm greatly as soon as it hits that wind shear. So I, I expect all this power that you see in the east side of this storm, uh, this tropical wave, you'll, you'll see that it will go down as well. I don't know if it'll go down as much as the west side of the storm is going down because the east side is much more stronger. But this is a lot of wind shear for it to meet up against to make its way to towards where we need to worry about it. Now, if you look on a Euro uh, for, for the next 10 days, uh, Euro shows all the way to the 31st, and it don't show any other uh, low pressure system, surface low pressure systems anywhere that we need to worry about. The only thing that is showing right now is there is a hurricane epsilon uh, in the Atlantic. So that's good news. Now, if you go through the GFS and go to the model and you press uh, and see the, the first uh, model run of, of the GFS, you can see that the, at the end of the month that this storm actually does make it through uh, the 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 wind shear and all the problems it has when it gets towards uh, the leeward and, and the windward islands. And, and once it gets towards uh, Venezuela, it starts forming up to, to a system. It looks like it's going to be a possible hurricane, but it does make a southerly uh, turn. Now, if you watch, uh, I'll put it in, in each increment so you can watch it. It does give a lot of rain uh, towards Puerto Rico, but I don't show that Puerto Rico gets any of this uh, storm as you can see it starts building up and this is on the third which is not far away we're, we're literally about 10 days away from that and then it starts building up even more over there and it starts heading uh, south towards Venezuela so we might want to keep an eye on that Venezuela it looks like you might have a problem uh, with the storm as well it, it is still far away it could move further uh, west but I do show, as of right now, it's got you in its target range. So we will keep going on that and see. As far as the rain goes, I mean, we do show that you have a, a high accumulation over here in Mexico of 14 inches. That's within the next 10 days. Uh, Honduras, you got uh, 9 inches. Nicaragua, you, you're getting 8 inches, almost 9 inches. I mean, it's heavy rainfall for, for very much of the Central America. And then if you go down by... Uh, by Jamaica, you can see that it has a lot of storms all around it, but yet you're only going to be getting a little over an inch of rainfall. It's not going to be a lot uh, for you. Two inches in the next 10 days. So that's not bad at all. I'm sure I'm sure that's pretty easy for y'all. Now, if you look towards uh, Colombia, you'll see that they also getting over five inches. It's just a whole central uh, America area, the whole gyre. It's just full of moisture right now. And it will be for the next 10 days. And you can see the track of the storm coming through the wind shear. And the wind shear knocks it more southerly. And it did lose its power. It was heavy rainfall at first. So we got to watch and see what's going on in this system. And it looks like a lot of the rainfall is going to be for Central America for a while. 
Uh, Hurricane Epsilon, as you can see here, you can see the precipitation. You can see Hurricane Epsilon. The dry air is starting to wrap around Epsilon, and it is actually separating it from the other punches of uh, severe thunderstorms that is building on the east side of it. So it's actually getting separated from its strength. So that's a good thing. So this, this storm should be weakening. I don't know about uh, the next hour or so, but it should be on a weakening trend uh, very soon, as a matter of fact. Now, as far as the, the ensembles go, uh, if you look all the way to the 26th, this is uh, the 18Z. It goes to the 26th. You can see that there's a few low pressures building right past the Bahamas. Uh, but if you go to the 27th on the, on the 6Z, you can see there's a lot of low pressures that are starting to build towards the western of the Caribbean. Now, the 12Z goes all the way to the 30th, and it shows a lot more uh, low pressure systems for the Gulf and the Yucatan and some... some possible uh, tropical storms uh, also for Nicaragua and maybe even Costa Rica down here in Honduras but it it's showing that the systems get more active seven to ten days out and this right here is the zero Z this is all the way to the 31st it looks like it miles back down uh, maybe a possible tropical storm headed towards the Bahamas but that's about it it just shows a lot of low pressures acting up a lot of things coming out uh, of the storm but as far as any landfall only thing I'm showing is the one headed towards Venezuela so far, and besides all the storms that we have, because it's going to be a lot of flooding, a lot of thunderstorms, so be aware of that. But good weather is coming uh, for the states. I know that y'all are dealing with some, some rain as well, and, and snow, right? Y'all enjoying that snow? Let me know if you're getting snow. Uh, I'd like to read to you Chronicles 20. And it came to pass that after the year was expired, at the time that kings go out to battle, Joab led forth the power of the army and wasted the country of the children of Ammon and came and besieged Rabbah. But David tarried at Jerusalem and Joab smote Rabbah and destroyed it. And David took the crown of their king from off, the, off his head and found it to weigh a talent of gold. And there were precious stones in it. And it was set upon David's head and he brought also exceedingly much spoil out of the city. And he brought out of the people he brought out the people that were in it, and cut them with saws and with harrows of iron and with axes. Even so dealt David with all the cities of the children of Ammon. And David and all the people returned to Jerusalem. And it came to pass after this that there were that there arose a war to Gezer with the Philistines, at which time Sabachi the Hushite slew Sippai. That was of the children of the giant, and they were subdued. And there, were, there was war again with the Philistines, and El, Elhan, the son of the Jerslu, Lami, the brother of Goliath, the Gittite, whose spear staff was like a weaver's beam. And yet again there was war at Gath, where was a man of great stature, whose fingers and toes were four and twenty, six on each hand and six on each foot, and he also was was the son of the giant. But when he def def fled, when he def defiled Israel, Jonathan, the son of Shemia, David's brother, slew him. These were born unto the giant of Gath, and they fell by the hand of David and by the hand of his servants. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a, a great day today. It is beautiful in a lot of places today, and if y'all excited about the snow, let me know. Uh, I'm up here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We're going to get it before we even want it, so I know how you can feel. <laughs> but y'all have a great day. All glory does go to God. Amen.